when you have your class like this, you have your public class, main class, and um, if you have something like this where you have a public static void main, that's your main method. And that's the most important part, arguably. It's the very first thing that you start with in your code. And so I actually sometimes forget it because it's super easy to uh, go and create a entirely new class and then just click public static void main. But when you write it out, you got to know that the class or the method is going to be public because it's the very first thing. It's what everything is being looked at. It's going to be static because it's just being accessed here. It's going to be void because it's not returning anything. And now we get to the important part. So by convention, I believe that all uh, functions inside of a class are lowercase. And this is actually kind of a bad example because all classes should be uppercase. So I can easily fix that by going over here, clicking refactor, rename, and making this main class. And if we look at something like this, you can see the class starts with an uppercase. Um, same thing right here, it starts with an uppercase. And then the actual methods in here should start with lower cases. So back to this though, we have public static void or lowercase main. We do have parameters. Our parameters are going to be string. Um, you can think of it as an array. So that's why we have these two brackets right here. And then we have arguments, which is the args. And then we can be inside of here. Once inside of here, we just do sys out and we can print whatever we want. So we'll just do hello world. And then we can run this. And that's how you would think about writing the main method. You have the publics because it's public. You need to access it everywhere. You have static because it's just being accessed once. We don't need to make an instance of it. And then we have void because it's just printing, not really returning anything because it's just the main part. And by convention, this is lowercase while our class name is uppercase. And then we have this parameter, which is an array of type string, and it's called args for the arguments.